start here at 930 with Denver police unveiling the newest member of their department. Yeah, the robotic dog is the first in the state and will help with SWAT responses. Fox 31's Kasha Karich joins us live in studio with a closer look at this technology. Jeremy and Kim, the Denver Police Department says their current robots are used hundreds of times a year. With the success of this robot in other large cities, Denver PD hopes this guy will be out in the community as much as possible. It walks. It climbs. Kind of a quirky, weird looking tool. It opens doors and gets back up on its own. The robot, as you can see, he's the star of the show today. The four-legged and one-armed creature is unofficially named Spot. Mitigate suspicious devices, potentially dangerous uh, explosives, uh, and in certain situations we'll use it in tactical settings uh, to go in after a search warrant is obtained to clear different residences. But unlike the other DPD robots, Spot can go over debris and talk. It will be the voice of the officer. The negotiator can communicate through Spot to a suspect or to someone that might be inside the particular building. This robot is not a weapon. It will not have weapons on it in any capacity. But it's not invincible. It is not armor plated, so it would be damaged and it would have to be repaired. It can move in the rain. We don't want it diving into the water. <laughs> so it's not waterproof, water resistant. A local law enforcement expert says we've been through a similar technological advancement in police departments before. We're going to get used to hopefully kind of seeing this thing around um, just like we are with the drones now. Anything that's new is that there, there's going to be a little reluctancy to, to some individuals out in the community as to how invasive is this thing going to be. But for now, DPD officers will get trained on the dog. Anytime that you can put an inanimate or non-human into a situation that's going to keep everybody safe, it's a huge advantage to everybody. Now, one lucky Denver Elementary School will get the chance to give the robot its official name in the coming weeks. Reporting in studio, Kasha Carriage, Fox 31. All right, Kasha, thank
some action. 